Welcome back guys, Mike King Cordero here, and today I have something pretty freaking cool to show you. I bought this at a local Goodwill after hearing about it on a typewriter forum. Now what this thing is, is the Alpha Smart Neo. This device came out in 2004 and was basically aimed at the education market in the fact that it was supposed to assist children with low motor skills to let them type, and even type one-handed, because you could put it on sticky keys mode and uh, hold the shift down while you're typing. So you can do that, you don't have to do any of this or anything like that. Um, but, what it's really good for is writing. It really excels at writing. And um, it is a really a nice little portable writer. Taking a look at the system here, if we open the box, and this is the original packaging it shipped in, it comes with a cable, and this is just an ordinary printer, USB cable. You can find them anywhere. You can probably go into your local thrift shops and get about a dozen of them. The Neo, which is quite a compact little device, runs on AA batteries. I think three or four of them. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll take the back off later and check. And you get your quick reference guide. Now, this tells you everything you would need to know about the uh, Neo. Well, I guess it takes three, looking at that. Um, <laughs> we solved that mystery. Um, but it tells you way more than you'd ever need to know. The Neo is such an intuitive device, you will never have to look at this. You just throw it in there and um, pack it away nicely, and you'll never have to look at this again. Now, mine also came with the shipping costs and uh, original papers having to do with the purchase. And apparently it cost them $250 when it was brand new, not including shipping, which is incredible. Because, obviously, you can buy a laptop for that now, but I would think you'd be able to buy a laptop much easier then than this specialized learning device. Taking a closer look at this device, you can see that it uses a custom layout, uh, laptop-style thin keyboard. Now, this is a thin machine anyway, but these low-profile keys definitely help keep it super thin. Not the nicest to type on, but definitely a solid feel nonetheless. Now the top row here, you can see that it has the on off here for turning the machine, well, on and off obviously. Next to that you have the file keys, which each one of these can hold up to 12.5 uh, pages of text, roughly, and all of them come out to be about 100 pages of text when you are done. Right here we have the print key. Right next to that is the spell check. You can uh, hook this directly to a printer, I should mention. You have the spell check, find, in case you want to find a word in a text document, uh, that clears the whole file. Each one of those file keys is a file, so you do that and then hit yes and it clears it. Home takes you to the beginning of the document and takes you to the end of the document, and applets takes you back to the menu. Send sends it to your computer, and we'll talk more about that later because it's a really, really cool function. If we look down at the bottom here, where you would normally have Control, Alt, and a Windows key, you have instead a more of a Mac layout, including the little Mac symbol there for the Super key, which is usually the Windows key on Windows devices. This is obviously more meant for the Mac crowd, since it was aimed at the educational market. That only makes sense. Now, if we slide it over here, you can see our Escape and Delete from the top row, where they should have been, is down at the bottom, which may throw some people off, but you will probably find that you barely have to use it since this is a word processor and not an actual computer. Now if we take a look at the end here, you can see that we have our DC in for a recharger if you have the battery pack installed, which I do not. This is your infrared transmission thing, which some of the earlier models came with and you can still use. This is our USB printer cable that we were talking about before, and this is used to transfer it right to the PC. You just click on the Word document you want, and it transfers it right into the Word document. You don't actually have to browse files or anything. It's pretty neat. Obviously, there's a little computer icon next to it. Next to that, we have what the print key is for. You can actually hook this directly to a printer and send it to the printer, and it'll print it. Now, I don't know how it handles fonts and things like that, but um, I imagine it works pretty well. If we go ahead and turn the device on here, you can see that it gives us a battery status indicator for a second there, and uh, tells us we're in the Smart Applet uh, screen here, which is basically our menu screen. Now, Alpha Word is our word processor, and if we go into that, and go, let's go File 2, and here you can see I've listed some of the other devices that are out there. 
of compact word processors like this thing, um, but it's really easy to use. Oops. Uh. Now, of course, I'm typing at an angle, so um, <laughs> don't take that as an example. But everything functions as you'd expect a regular keyboard to. If you go back to the applets panel, we have a calculator, which is basically a calculator uh, minus. <laughs> let's do that. Gives us negative nine. And if we go down, we have our control panel, which allows us to change spell check settings and different things like on uh, two button on, which makes it so we have to press the on button and the enter button to turn it on, which is probably better if you're lugging this around in a backpack. Um, set screen contrast, which means that it can be darker or lighter. Um, let's actually look at that. So it can be darker or lighter, and I like to keep it on one, which is the basic lowest setting. Now, it has keyboard command reference list, which gives us uh, all the different things that we can do with this device by holding down various buttons. One thing I was interested in, I don't know if it's in here, oh, battery status, look at that. Control, there's control command B, now oh, look at that, 98%. Now, I've had the batteries in here for a couple months now, and um, the batteries can last for quite a long time from what I hear. And I haven't been using this thing regularly, but they can last up to months of regular use for what I've heard. And uh, it is rated at something like 400 hours, which is incredible. That's quite a long time. Beats any modern cell phone from what I've heard. Uh, I don't own a cell phone, but <laughs> I'm guessing here. Um, the keyboard layout, obviously you can change between QWERTY and Dvorak and different things. Display battery status, obviously is nice. And keyboard settings lets us turn on and off sticky keys for one hand typing. And uh, when I first got sticky keys was on, um, so most likely this was used by a uh, slightly handicapped kid or one who could not type very well. <laughs> if we go back here, we go back to our applets panel. Keywords, I don't know what that is. Um, some type of educational software. Beamer, I have no idea. Alpha Quiz, also some kind of educational software. The bulk of this thing is going to be the interest in the Alpha Word itself. Because, like I said, it is perfect for this thing. Uh... Now let's go spell check. Let's enter or alpha smart. Oh yeah. Mm, ignore, 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 ignore. It recognized alpha smart. Ah, there we go. See, I mistyped Alpha Smart. That's what I was trying to do the whole time. And it wants us to correct to Alpha Smart. Bam, there we go. So that's pretty easy to use. Now, other devices like this come with the Thorth of, and uh, <laughs> you might find that useful, such as the Quick Write has that. But this device does not. Now, as I was saying before, the really neat feature of this device is the way that it transfers your files. The cool thing is that you can hook it up to any device that uses USB and probably even get away with a USB to PS2 uh, converter because it's basically emulating a keyboard. Go ahead and plug it in like so and plug the other end into our Alpha Smart here just like any old printer. So when you first connect it it shows a little thing saying making USB connection and this light should come on here once it gets a good connection. As you can see down here we have our send button but in order to send this we have to select the file we want. It's file 1, file 2 is what we want here and if we go ahead and look at the computer now when I hit send you will see that it will send 
the document to the computer. And it doesn't just send it in the form of a thing, it actually types it out, which is really, really neat and uh, quite different. Apparently the Quick Pro also works in the same manner. And there it is done. So if we want to just return back to word editing mode, we just simply unplug it and it goes right back to it. And we have our Neo and we can just take it away and go do our stuff, whatever we wanted to go do. Okay, so that's basically it for the Alpha Smart Neo. It's a really simple device and great for on-the-go writing when you want a distraction-free type environment. Typing on a computer, we have Facebook and everything else with the internet, and unless you're using an old device like I use a lot of times, um, this guy will be ideal. Writing on this, pretty much perfect because it's completely portable. Throw it in any kind of tote bag, really, or under your arm. It's basically like a notebook. And, um, it's perfect, really. I really like it. I've typed a lot on it. And, um, you probably see here, I got a diary going on this thing. And I used the last entry. I go all the way up. I don't really care if you see this because it's, I was basically just talking about the different devices I just found out. Uh, where is the top here? As you can see, it's a lot of text. Um, come on. Well, I wrote a lot more last night than I thought I did. <laughs> there okay so there's the top of it but yeah as you can see that's one entry right there is all that do, 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 do. and if we want to go to the end just hit end bam if we go to one go to the beginning just hit beginning yeah it couldn't be simpler to use it's a great little device and uh, definitely recommend picking up one if you happen to see one for sale or just feel like ordering one off the internet and see it on eBay and don't mind paying like 20 30 bucks for one um, I'm Ed King Corduroy hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining and informational Thank you for watching.